What's going on? Look at you here to show me love and support. You, my friend, and I love you back. How are you guys doing? Uh, believably, this is going to be the second video I'm going to put up. I'm not quite sure. If I don't have any other video, just scratch the second video and then we can continue. I am here to do an analysis of um, the decade that is just about to wrap up. Because, thank goodness, we have made it through 12 months of 2019 and we have made it through 10 years um, since 2011, I guess. So I have 10 questions and I want to dare everybody um, to do this thing, okay? Just put down a list of 10 questions of things that have occurred to you since 2011 to 2019. I don't know whether that's that's 10 years but um it's been counted as a decade we are entering 2020 and moving forward it's going to be another different decade totally different from 2019 2017 and all that and those questions are very exciting i don't want to waste your time because we're already in the one minute and um a couple of seconds so we're gonna get straight into it i don't have a montage please i was not prepared for this i was just too excited to set something um, I think absolutely exciting and different. So we're gonna get straight into it. The best year in the last decade, okay? So this is a question and then you put a year to it. It has to have a year, a specific year. 2017 has got to be mine and you want to ask why. This is why I'm doing the video. 2017, I got rid of high school and I always count that as the best year of my life. Because God knows it was never my cup of tea. If we always have to skip from class 8 to doing your career immediately, ah, that will be heaven to me. Worst year in the last decade, that has got to be 2011. I joined boarding school in 2011. My parents called their bluff. They always, you know, like, threatened me. I'm going to take you to boarding. And I always thought they loved me too much not to, you know, subject me into all that torture and suffering. Boy, 2011, I was already on the gate of San Damiano Boarding Primary School. And that was going to be um, for two years. No, three, because I joined when I was in class six and seven and eight. Yes, three good years. Also, one of the worst years was 2015. This year, let me just tell you about this year. I was in form two and um, I lost my grandmother on my birthday, 3rd of April. In case you do not know, keep those gifts coming in the next four months. And also, I had this condition in my eyes. I think it's already gone. It's an allergy. My eyes were absolutely red. It began in 2011 when I joined primary school. But it escalated and became ah, yeah, yeah, very, very bad in 2015. And this is when I was, you know, self-aware. This is when everything was just happening in your life. And you're like, you just want, you know, sort of like, um, what I'm trying to avoid is puberty was at, at its peak. Okay, so I needed to look. I, I, I saw myself totally different from others, and I felt like um, my self esteem was almost hitting, you know, ground level. And um, I, if there was something that I wanted, was a magical eye drop that I would just, you know, like um, put in my eyes and they would become absolutely good. But that was never possible. So that marks as one of my worst years. I always did not look. At people in the eye as opposed to today looking at the camera okay the sickest year of my life has got to be 2014 but then the difference between bad worst and sickest sickest can be good can be um, crazily good and bad at the same time so 2014 I was joining from one and um, apparently we had a lot of strikes a lot of a lot of them almost every Saturday we knew we were going to go home I won't tell you which high school I was in. So, um, I think I was already getting used to it. I was being comfortable. And, um, you know, knowing that you're supposed to go home af after a week, it would just pump in a lot of excitement, exhilaration. You're like, oh, I want this to last forever. Not putting in mind that you're supposed to clear high school, you're supposed to pass, you're supposed to go to university. That was not clicking in my in my head. It was never, okay? So what was exciting was that I was to go home, eat food. And you know, when you join um, from one, you were too naive that um, what matters is just food, you know? Food and TV and, and, and WhatsApp and games, man. 
but that has got to be one year that I will never forget. Let's go to another year. Not a, a, this is a different. This is something different. Throughout the year, the best YouTube channel for me that has stood out and stuck with me completely has got to be Caroline Mutoko's um, YouTube channel for so many reasons. So many reasons. I will not explain that because time is running out. A language that I would love to study. Throughout the years, I've always had an interest in Spanish, and I have a smattering in Spanish. I can speak just a bit, and I will not. My pronunciation is horrendous. Pinnacle of the Year 2018, this is when I joined media school, that is Kenya Institute of Mass Communication. Um, 2018 slash 2019 has been an eye-opener for me because I have done a couple of shows on radio, and that's something that I put it in at heart. So much. I was given a chance at Need Radio, at my campus radio. I did morning shows. I did evening shows. I did, um, you know, prime time shows. I did news, and it has grown me, um, quite uh, a big deal. So I must say, 2018 and 2019 is a pinnacle of my year, and I'm expecting, not expectant, but hopeful that the rest of the years in future are going to be, in terms of my career, the most stunning people. Of the decade have got to be my folks for so many reasons also the overview of the last decade um, as opposed to the previous decades I have been so self-aware and I have known my potential I have been anxious about life I have wanted a lot and um, if you know me, you know I'm this ambitious human being. I think I just want to... It will sound braggadocious and I don't want that to, to happen on this video. But um, I have just been a completely different person. And everybody has seen a metamorphosis of um, a millennium. And I appreciate that because it always makes me understand that um, decades can never be the same. And you can never be, um, you know, like stuck on the same, same spot constantly when everything is changing and you need to understand that change is inevitable and you need to move with the wind but the positive wind that is of great importance and um, benefit to your life that's the overview i guess my weight and height in the last decade fyi if i meet you and you want to say something about my weight or my height please Introduce your lower lip to the upper lip, okay? And that also means you need to shut up because my weight is stunt, my, my height is stunted, I'm very short, and my weight continues to expand. It's like I'm being inflated every day. So please don't tell me that, okay? I am fully aware. <laughs> What's being left in this decade? Oh, I love this. Forcing relationships, staying the hell away from people's businesses, mediocrity. Mm, 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 mm. And of course, sleeping excessively. Don't worry, I am not. Um, yes, I have all all of them written down there. So don't worry, okay. And making unnecessary friendships, okay. I have realized you make unnecessary friendships, and those people don't matter. Just the other day, I sent a lot of messages for uh, um, happy holidays. I got, I sent around five hundred and fifty. I got around less than a hundred. No, I think it was less more than 100 less than 150 response so that clearly means i have contacts that are of no value in my phone and i need to get rid of that i need to declutter phones contacts <laughs> okay that's just about it i dare you to also do this it's very exciting let us know what um the last ticket has been for you has it been exciting do you love it and i will be you know like so excited to also watch your video kindly watch this one there is no subscribing because i don't think i'm good i am done no way okay no this syndrome of hi please subscribe to my youtube channel it's exhausting and i don't want to subject myself into it so how has your year been? Thanks for watching this and have a wonderful year, 2020. Does that sound pretty much the same as Happy New Year? If it does, well, it's English. Let's just use it. Happy New Year.